morning kids church today I am coming to you guys not from my office and not from my kitchen table can you guys see where I am Listen, y'all I am out in the country today it is amazing I have been sitting out here I have been listening to the birds I have been listening to the cows I don't know if y'all can see the cows behind me but there's some cows just across that water and every now and then one of them moves if we listen we might get to hear them but I have been out here just enjoying God's creation I have watched some geese I have watched cows I have seen all kinds of birds I saw a woodpecker yesterday and a scissor tail bird um, we even saw some buffalo it's been pretty cool. God has made some amazing animals and I love being in creation and just enjoying all of the things that he made. So today we are gonna be talking about how awesome and how creative God is. And before we do that, I have a couple of questions for you guys to discuss as a family. So today we are talking about psalms. Now psalms are songs that praise God for who he is. And today's psalm is going to be talking about how awesome God is and how awesome the things are that he made. So first I'm going to read for you guys Psalm 8 as it's written in our storybook Bible. There are lots of poems and songs called psalms in the Bible. This is a special one. Hooray for our awesome God. God made you and me and everything else. God, you are so amazing and strong and creative. Everyone thinks so, even babies. When I look up in the sky at night and see the moon and all those stars that you have made, it makes me extra glad that you care for me. You ask us to work with you to help take care of everything you've made. And you've given us a job to do, God. You want us to care for the earth and everything that lives on it. All of the animals and birds and fish and sea animals. Hooray for our awesome God. God made you and me and everything else. So the memory verse you all just worked on as a family has the word majestic in it. Majestic means that something has impressive beauty or dignity. That means it's something that we can honor and admire more than anything else. So what we're saying is, God, you are awesome. You are incredible. You are better than anything else. I love looking at creation and seeing the amazing things that God has made. I love seeing the beautiful animals or the beautiful sights in nature. Those things help me get a glimpse of how creative and how beautiful and how amazing God is. I also see that in people. Each one of you shows the world one amazing part of who God is. So the last Psalm in the Bible is number 150. So as we close this morning, I want you to work as a family to come up with one more psalm. So we'll call this one Psalm 151. You can start and end your psalm with a sentence praising God. This could be something really simple like, the Lord our God is awesome. Did you, I, the cows are praising God behind me. Did you hear that? <laughs> So your sentence could be, the Lord our God is awesome, or you could come up with something else that you want to use. Then choose three or four things that you want to praise God for and write a sentence together about each one. Okay, friends, as you go through your day today, I want you to have your eyes open to see amazing things that God has made 
And when you notice something, I want you to pause and I want you to praise God for it. Just stop what you're doing and say, God, you are awesome. All right, first let's close in prayer together. The things that are in bold, I want you to say nice and loud with me, okay? Let's pray. The Lord, our God, is awesome. God, we praise you for the whole creation, for sun, moon, stars, rivers, lakes, and oceans, and for plants and animals, from aardvarks to zebras. Most of all, we thank you and praise you for making us. The Lord our God is awesome. Amen. All right, you guys, have a great week, and we will talk again soon. Bye, everybody.